welcome back to the channel. Today we'll talk about Brentoon. Uh, thank you to Brentoon for sending me one. Put the tune on my motorcycle. And man, I just started it up for about 20 seconds, but the, even the startup was different. It didn't high idle, as you know. I put the header on it. I kept the factory can. Uh, we're going to do some other stuff with this bike, but stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you like this if you get something from it. Make sure your bell notification's on. We'll get on the road here. One thing I'll say is it, it probably uses a little bit more gas. Let's get on the road here. We'll talk about it. I just rode it about, oh, three or four miles. I can already tell a difference. First, I want to say thank you to Brentoon for sending me this and, and working with me and setting me up a discount code. Oh, boy. They're ready to... <laughs> they're actually really good people. But anyways, uh, there's a discount code that you'll find in the description of all my videos. And it's uh, my channel name, Ray Bowden Rides in Capitals. You can get a, get yourself a, a nice little discount through Brentoon. There's a, three or four other companies that I really believe in. One of them's the airbag company. Uh, I wear this airbag. The first thing when I started it up, it, it doesn't have a high idle. So when you get these bikes, these these new double R's and these new single uh, you know M1000 RR's and M1000 M's and and even the single R's and the double R's uh, they've, they've got a high idle when you turn them on and what it is I think I'm not sure I haven't talked to Brentoon and I'm definitely not an engineer but uh, it, I guess it throws a bunch of fuel in it to get it to start and then it, it runs it lean I don't know but one thing I can tell you and I'll show you when we get up here a little bit you know it, it's amazing when I got this bike I on the 600 mile service or before I got the 600 mile service I was like man this bike is so amazing even with the 8,000 rpm in, in uh, limiter with the 8,000 rpm limiter I was like, golly, I can't imagine going to 14.5. Anyways, I got there. Uh-oh. That's how that happens. Boy, you got to be on your toes in this city. I live here in Dallas. Anyways, I'll get back to it. So, it, it's just amazing how you get used to power. This thing makes like uh, 205 horses, what it's claimed, stock. I will tell you this, after riding it, uh, with the restrictions off you can tell it's got a big cut about five to sixty five hundred in second gear third fourth and fifth now I don't know yet because I haven't rode it but I can tell you one thing it we're in fourth gear pulling four thousand rpm now just watch the tack I'm just gonna roll on it in fifth I mean you can just feel it it's uh it's giving it more fuel and optimizing the spark and that's what Brentoon does best i mean they're a class act tuner but uh so you get to 14,005. but when you're riding something like this and you're ocd or maybe you're not ocd or and you can see where it could be improved or which everybody does they, they've got something that they want to put on it i really want to try and keep this stock except for the pipe the end can i mean i'm not trying to make 280 horse but <laughs> but uh you can see the little oh that's that's noticeable the shifting the clutchless shifting was already great it's a little bit easier i don't know how i can prove it to you you just it is it is a little bit easier let's check the downshift oh yeah can't even it's definitely improved probably 15 20 percent is it night and day no it was already one of the best in the business these bmw's got the best best clutchless shifting but man we're gonna get up here and when we get on the uh we get on 190 
we'll see what it'll do in seconds if it's got that dead spot I've got wheelie control on uh, medium so it's not gonna pull but probably a foot and a half wheelie but I'll tell you what it does so I'll get back to you in a minute it's got a deeper growl to it even even as you accelerate down in the lower rpms now I've got a header on mine and the factory can but it's almost like you're riding I mean it, it's it's my bike I know but it just sounds a little different it just feels a little different a little bit more uh, precise you might say but uh, the shifting's better and it's got nothing to do with the brakes or anything but man it ain't missing a beat you can tell that and I just checked the uh, the temperature it was running it here it's about 102 103 it's running 206 instead of about 2016 2018 or 2 218 sorry it usually runs once it gets warm it'll run about 218 so they can they can turn down your cooling fans which is a big plus keep you cooler on the bike helps the bike make horse more horsepower because it's cooler uh, come on here we go we're gonna check second gear out I already got a feeling I know what it's gonna do we're still gonna do it though y'all want to know so this bike will flat turn oh yeah it's straight up in the air first gear now I've got it on medium wheelie control it's like it's nothing it's like you're riding a I've said this before a dirt bike but even worse first gear is almost worthless on this bike now it might not be at the track but or on the street I guess it wouldn't if you weren't aggressive with it but uh, we're going to check it out here in second gear in just a second. Let's see what this is coming up behind us. Make sure it ain't our buddy. No, nope, it's not. All right, we're going to jump on Mexico uh, Highway here. We're in second gear at six grand. We're to steady six. Let's see what this thing will do. Y'all ready? Here we go. Wheels in the air. Holy moly. Okay. Woo! Front wheel was off the ground at first and it finally come back down and settled. I don't know if you could see the, the steering, the handlebars. They were kind of rocking just like, the front wheel was off, it just barely skimming on the ground. But uh, yeah, it's definitely, there is no lag second gear from six on. And I'm sure it's like that even lower. But, wow, man. Golly, I mean, I don't know what else I could do to this bike. I don't need any more horsepower. You tell me in the comments. It's definitely, if you want to wake your bike up or clean it up, tune it up, pick up the uh, bottom end stuff on your double R or your single RM or they make a lot of different tuners. I'll put the, uh, all the information in the uh, description of the video. I've got my code down there. Use code Ray Bowden Rides. You can get a you can get a discount on uh, any product they've got. Wow, I'm super impressed. Yeah, see, even on the highway, it's just effortless at five five thousand RPM, seventy mile an hour. You can just you can just feel it's making more horsepower. Pretty impressive. And Brent Tune's the best at the business on this BMW stuff. Kawasaki, uh, R1s, Triumph. I don't know who he's got engineering this stuff, but they talk straight to the people that write the software for the ECMs for these manufacturers. So I think that's what makes a big difference. One thing that they will ask you, uh, if you decide to get one, you'll have to have a customer order number. 
uh, once you order your, your product, you'll create a profile with your customer order number. You will need, and I repeat this, you don't have to, but it's about nine and a half out of ten percent shot. You're gonna need it. You're gonna need a Windows computer. They'll tell you that it can be done on a Mac. Maybe they've heard of it being done. Uh, I tried to kind of do it on my Mac. It wouldn't do it. But uh, get it on a Windows computer. Uh, super simple. Anyways, thank you for riding with me. There's going to actually be two videos today. I, we're going to Day Neasy to a buddy of mine's uh, big meetup. Uh, ZX10 Mass. So it should be a lot of fun. It's real hot here in Dallas. Oh boy. Everybody's headed to the shop up there. Anyways. Thanks for riding with me. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you like this if you got something from it. Make sure your bell notifications are on. I'm going to have two videos come out. One probably first first thing Sunday morning, which you'll, you'll be seeing this one. And then the, a little bit shorter one, a day and easy meet. It's going to have every bike and probably some wild stuff down there. If you like meetups. We'll see you again on the next one. And here's two videos YouTube thinks you ought to watch.